Hi, Cheryl Patton here from Cheryl's Art on Zazzle. And today I'm uh, doing a new kind of video. I'm uh, sharing that I became a vegan. And I wanted to let you know how the first week went. Um, first, some backstory. Uh, I had been a vegetarian for some time and had some different issues going on. And I sought out a nutritionist. Uh, so anyway, uh, at some point, um, well, she was also having me add uh, meat products back into my diet, which I wasn't thrilled about, but uh, I wanted to improve what was happening um, body-wise. Uh, so I did go along with it. Uh, and at some point, she had me to start writing down how my body was feeling. And what I noticed was that my body felt a lot better after eating fresh um, veggies and salads and fresh fruit and salads. And, you know, I felt immediately energized and not down, you know, sluggish or anything. Um, and so anyway, after a few times of that, it's like, you know, that is really more of who I am and I don't want to keep doing the meat stuff. And perhaps I didn't need all that vegetarian stuff, the uh, dairy and eggs that I and cheese that I'd hung on to for so long. Uh, so I decided to become vegan and um, that was on October 28th, 2023. And it's been just over a week now. Uh, not a perfect vegan yet. Uh, sometimes I don't think to say hold the cheese or whatever if I'm in a restaurant. So when I do that, then I take off most of the cheese and there's a few little pieces that get in there. So anyway, um, not perfect, but uh, I forgive myself and I'm going on because uh, uh, being vegan is really how I want to go. Uh, so other things about the first week is um, if you don't already, well, for me, I wasn't having regular bowel movements. It was sometimes two and three days in between, you know. So anyway, going vegan, fiber definitely increased, didn't have all the other stuff that blocked things up. And so now it's uh, instead of every two to three days, it's sometimes two and three times in one day. <laughs> so that's a big difference. Uh, so I've uh, been trimming up a little bit and overall feeling more energetic. Um, the first few days, uh, it was, um, I felt hungrier, uh, but I realized that I could add extra things to oatmeal, uh, for instance, hemp hearts, uh, ground flaxseed, in addition to the fruit, uh, cooking it with uh, plant-based oat, mi oat milk instead of uh, water. Uh, so making it more full, feeling fuller. Uh, so that has helped greatly uh, in uh, keeping me more satiated and getting through the morning longer before I'd want to eat again. Uh, so those, that is some other things I learned for the first week. I've been watching a lot of videos and some say jump in, you know, dive in with both feet and others say, well, you can take it, you know, like say do breakfast one week as vegan, the next week do breakfast and lunch vegan, and then the third week do breakfast, lunch, and dinner vegan. So there's ways that you can do, do it. It doesn't have to be all at once. It's up to each individual. And let's see. Also, uh, there was something else I was going to say, and it just slipped my mind, but it's going to come back to me. Um, okay, one of the best pieces of advice, too, when I was watching other videos is to just swap things out. You don't have to make things difficult and start off learning all new recipes right at once. You know, it's more like what foods to combine with each other, um, but you don't necessarily have to learn a whole new way of cooking. You know, you that can come along at later when I'm ready to try new recipes. And same for you. 
So um, swapping things out. So if there's a meat product in a dish that you normally make, what can you swap it with? Uh, maybe some extra broccoli or something as, you know, like if you're making a pasta dish, you know, just make broccoli as your main thing to go with your pasta instead of the uh, chicken or whatever. Uh, so just, you know, think about, you know, things to swap out. And I found that easy to do and enlightening. So that made it easier for, for me too. So it's been uh, just over a week now, and I will be going on with uh, this. I am feeling better overall, feeling more satiated and happy with my choice. And um, I look forward to seeing you the next time and sharing what else I have uh, learned. And I do have a um, instant pot on my Christmas wish list. So uh, that will be down the road, but uh, I will be making you know, learning to make things in the instant pot vegan wise. So stay tuned and I will see you next time. You have a great rest of your day.